Apple recently unveiled its most powerful and newest mobile phone called iPhone 15 Pro Max with Apple 17 Pro chip. Various reviews and comparisons have been published regarding the changes of the 15th series compared to the previous series. But what was interesting for us here was that Apple claimed that Series 15 phones can play well-known 9th generation games just like PlayStation 5 and Xbox X series, and maybe even better than them. Although Apple has already tried to enter the game console market and it was unsuccessful, it seems that this time the situation is a little different and we can expect to play games with the high graphics of the consoles on the new Apple series phones. In this video, we will compare the technical details of the iPhone 15 Pro Max with the PlayStation 5 console in playing games. Also note that so far only iPhone 15 Pro and iPhone 15 Pro Max have the ability to play console games. The iPhone 15 Pro Max has an Apple 17 Pro chip with 6 cores and 6 threads and clocks at a maximum of 3.77 GHz. The Sony PlayStation 5 has an 8 cores AMD Zen 2 with 16 threads and clocks at a maximum of 3.50 GHz. In addition, A17 Pro do not support hyperthreading while this feature is available in PlayStation 5. Of course, it should be kept in mind that Apple also uses a Type-B core with a frequency of 2.2 GHz. However, Apple's new processor uses a feature called Artificial Intelligence and Machine Learning that gives it much better processing capabilities. Processors supported by Artificial Intelligence and Machine Learning can process many calculations, particularly in audio, image and video processing, much faster than classic processors. Machine learning algorithms improve their performance the more data they have collected via software. Machine learning tasks can be processed up to 10,000 times faster than with a classic processor. Theoretically, the iPhone 15 Pro Max has a more powerful processor than the PlayStation 5. In the performance chapter, in this video, we will compare the processing power of two devices in detail. Apple uses its own new graphics chip called Apple A17 Pro GPU, with 6 cores with a clock speed of 0.70 GHz as an integrated graphics processor. On the other hand, the PlayStation 5 uses a customized AMD Radeon RDNA2 GPU. Apple's GPU architecture uses a new 3 nanometers generation compared to the older 7 nanometers architecture of PlayStation 5. In addition, Apple's GPU with 192 execution units has a significant advantage over PlayStation 5 with 36 execution units. However, in the number of shaders, PlayStation 5 with 2,304 shaders surpasses Apple with 1536 shaders. Also, PlayStation 5 can use 8GB of graphics memory compared to Apple's 6GB of graphics memory. Considering the technical specifications, it seems that PlayStation 5 has better graphics processing than iPhone 15 Pro Max. However, since both devices use completely different graphics processing architectures, it is not possible to make an exact comparison between them, even theoretically, and should be judged after playing the same games on them. The Sony PlayStation 5 uses a maximum of 16GB of GDDR6 memory in dual channel. The iPhone 15 Pro Max can connect up to 8GB of LPDDR5 RAM in single channel. The superiority of PlayStation 5 is not only limited to the amount of RAM. Using 448GB per second bandwidth, this game console is completely superior to Apple's 51GB per second bandwidth. Therefore, we can conclude that in the RAM category, the superiority is completely with Sony. In this section, we come to one of the most significant differences between these two devices. PlayStation 5 has a standard consumption of 65 watts compared to 7.5 watts of the standard consumption of iPhone 15 Pro Max. However, the larger physical structure and more equipped cooling system of PlayStation 5 gives it more cooling capabilities, and according to many experts, this issue can become Apple's Achilles heel for playing heavy games. However, 
It should be seen in practice how Apple phones prevent the device from overheating when playing Sony and Microsoft console games. Based on the information about the iPhone 15 Pro Max hardware, some theoretical evaluations of the processing power of this phone with the PlayStation 5 console have been published, which we will review below. In the Geekbench 5, single core, as expected, Apple with a score of 2078 performs twice as well as the PlayStation 5 with a score of 992. The chip is so powerful that its single-threaded performance is within 10% of the high-end AMD Ryzen 97950X and Intel Core i9-13900K in Geekbench 5. But Apple's product does have the disadvantage of a much lower frequency and can't match the desktop chips in multi-core performance, of course. As the same way, due to the 8-core processor of PlayStation 5 and its more frequency, Test results in Geekbench 5 for PlayStation 5 with 6,635 points are better than Apple with 5,905 points. Additionally, in Passmark's single-core performance test, Apple scores 4,627, which is very close to the performance of the Intel Core i9-13900K at 4,666 and about 7% better than the AMD Ryzen 9 7950X at 4,316. Another important index that can also be used to compare graphics processing power is FP16 computing power. Where the PlayStation 5 console with about 21 teraflops and Xbox X series with about 24 teraflops are completely superior to the iPhone with 4.5 teraflops. So, it seems that, at least in theory, the Apple phone has less graphics processing power than the two giants of game consoles. This means that Apple needs an internal tool to compensate for the lack of graphics processing power in order to be able to run the games of these consoles with 4K resolution and 60 frames per second. Apple has claimed that it will use ray tracing in running games. However, until we run the games on Apple phones, we cannot judge the performance quality and frame rate as well as the performance of the game on external screens. You can control the games either on the touchscreen itself or with supported controllers such as the DualSense on the PlayStation 5. From the series of games that have been released for game consoles, some popular games will also be released for iPhone 15. Let's take a look at them. By playing AAA games, Apple will not only compete with well-known consoles such as Xbox X Series and PlayStation 5, but will also claim the title of the most powerful handheld console. However, it should be noted that the significant price difference between Apple and other game consoles makes only a specific group of gamers buy it and play games on it. It should also be seen how Apple can manage issues such as playing games on external screens, battery consumption and phone heat by running these games. We think that at least in the current situation, Apple's entry into this field will make it more attractive to smartphone buyers than it will affect the field of game consoles. Although finally the possibility of playing AAA games on a mobile phone can be the best news for gamers who want to have an Apple phone, a PlayStation or Xbox and a Steam Deck at the same time. <laughs>